Well, hello and welcome to the InfoGov Hot Seat. I'm your host, Jim Merrifield, and with me today is Farron Lyons at BlackBerry. Welcome, Farron. Hey, hey. Thanks for having me, Jim. Yeah, it's great to have you. I know we've known each other for quite a while, but um, I'm interested in, in telling the world about uh, a little more about Fair and Lions and what you're doing at BlackBerry and the legal industry in general. Uh, let's let's get into this a little bit. Let, can you tell us a brief inter- introduction of yourself, your role, your current role, and one fun fact about yourself? And if you've watched my episodes, uh, don't forget the fun fact because I'll just keep asking you that question. <laughs> we won't forget that one at all. I, I, I have put some thought into that one. So, uh, Farron Lyons, I am uh, at BlackBerry as an account manager I, I, and on the sales side over here. And be seven years in October, I have been with BlackBerry and came into the position as uh, as a reseller. So I was uh, I was reselling a solution uh, that was Watchdocs at the time that was digital rights management and came across that technology on a project for one of the studios here in Los Angeles and it just turned my head right I thought it was super cool so brought on uh, the Zia guys as resellers for uh, for for that tech and and made some deals and that's when BlackBerry acquired the uh, the Watchdocs company and I thought what the heck are these guys up to. Uh, uh, and so that was my path in. Uh, after making a few deals, they offered me a position for territory manager down here in SoCal. Interesting thing about me, I think I gave uh, uh, my nephew one of the coolest grad presents uh, 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 ever. Uh, we were down, it was probably 2015, maybe 2016, and uh, we were up in Portland and I hadn't bought any Bitcoin yet. I had been watching it for a while. And, uh, and, and so we just, I decided to get him some Bitcoin for his, uh, his, his graduation. So we took the whole fam and, uh, we went to a McDonald's East Portland and, uh, and I had a few hundred bucks and, and we actually met a guy who was selling Bitcoin. I had a wallet and we were actually in person. Here's some cash. And the phones were sinking and handshaking. And my, my, my sister-in-law is going, Farron, what are we doing? This this is totally sketch. It feels like a drug deal. What the heck is is going on here? And we're just licking on our uh, on our ice cream, right? And uh, and then the guy's like, "Okay, we're done." And I thought, "Wait a second, it's still handshaking, whatever." Uh, and and he's like, "Ah, oh, you're fine, you're fine." So that was um that was a half a bitcoin for a few hundred bucks back in the day. So I ended up giving my nephew half of that, and uh, and and we walked away. Right, a bitcoin's worth sixty grand today. So. Uh, uh, we're both holding on to it and uh, and playing around. And I, I every time I talk to him, like, yeah, it's high fives. That's awesome. So you're still hung on to it. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it, I, <laughs> it's an interesting ride, uh, uh, right? And just to kind of uh, uh, see where it goes and uh, have a little bit of skin in the game. And uh, yeah, in a in a in an on track wallet for cash, right? I don't know if how many people are watching this one in attorneys and stuff like that out there, but I haven't sold it. <laughs> That's awesome. So you're in it for the long haul. And uh, speaking of long haul, so you, you've been in this space, the IG technology space, the, the legal industry as a whole for quite a while. What what made you decide to get into this industry? Uh, you know, I, I like a lot of us, especially in the ARMA uh, of you know records management, InfoGov. It, it, it's been kind of by accident or luck, uh, and uh, and and that's kind of where it started. I was doing some technology project management, and uh, a, a buddy was at Open Text, and uh, and and brought me in over there, and so that was right, eDocs and uh, uh, document management, records management, and uh, uh, since then, you know, it's been twenty plus years of uh, of 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 working in the IG space and and talking about solutions there. Wow. I can't believe. So you've been in, yeah, we've been in this space for probably almost the same time, 20 years. That's yeah. like amazing. It's it like, is it's like amazing, from Earth, right? It flies by. It certainly does. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, you mentioned to me recently that you've done a lot of research and uh, talking about DRM and DLP. Can you tell us what you've learned so far and what you're seeing in the space? Yeah, yeah, and I, I recently uh, kind of touched on this of uh, data protection and uh, and uh, uh, data security. 
at a at an ISACA conference and 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 just thinking about data protection and what are the components of it and uh, and 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 really classification being at the core right coming back to what Arma is all about of just kind of knowing what you've got uh, and from the cyber side of things right reducing that attack surface and knowing where the sprawl is and kind of managing uh, uh, where your data is all the time and I look at the DLP technologies as kind of the uh, the the the, the the legislator of, of all of that, right? Here's your policies. Here are the laws around where this data can flow and who can touch it. And DRM being the sheriff, somebody's got to actually enforce that stuff and not just report on it. And uh, and I think that that, you know, classification is certainly uh, uh, being a fast moving place with AI and uh, and the tools we've got out there. But there's a lot of space where we have to move in the in the DRM space of uh, of really protecting our content from the point of instantiation or creation and not waiting for it to become a, a record, but understanding how it moves and, uh, and, and being proactive about, uh, about, about keeping it safe and protected. Yeah, I think that's an excellent, excellent thought. So is there anything else you'd like to share as a final thought with, with the audience? I'm hoping that, that, uh, you know, you could tell us when that BlackBerry stock's going to start going. I'm doing lips, man. I would love to see that one. I'm doing what I can, right? <laughs> and uh, that's kind of like my uh, I, I'm early mover too often uh, on stocks and hydrogen and all this kind of stuff. Uh, DRM really going to take off. And that's what that's what I thought back in 2013 and 2014, you know, where we've been there with the entertainment world. Uh, uh, and and the MP3s and the movies and stuff like that and the entertainment world has really gotten a hold on it, whereas the rest of the world, especially in business, have been kind of hesitant to use those tools uh, uh, to, to 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 manage information uh, uh, more tightly. But I I uh, you know I, I don't know if that's hope or if it's just kind of timing. I really see that that's the space where uh, where we have to make a real impact. On uh, on on some of these uh, uh, you know breaches, exfiltrations, uh, and uh, and and the data that gets out there. I, there's examples all over the place. Uh, uh, Panama Papers being a, a, a pretty famous one there of uh, you know file shares just getting out, and that's super damaging information. That stuff doesn't have to happen. We can we can hit the stop button on that stuff and uh, and and manage it more closely. So that's that's really I think uh, uh, you know. What what I came on today really to to to, to chat about and underline a little bit of, uh, of of a place where we can make some real impact without impacting users negatively either, right? It doesn't have to be that hard. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. It, I, this stuff has to happen behind the scenes because putting more pressure on users to actually do something. I mean, we're still struggling with with getting users to uh, you know in the in the legal world with getting our users to file emails, right? Yeah. <laughs> Never mind uh, you know the other sorts of things. Um, so no, thank you so much, uh, Farron, for spending some time with us. I know you're getting ready to go on vacation, so enjoy that time uh, with your family. And uh, you know, thanks for. For joining us on the uh, InfoGov hot seat, if uh, you'd like to be a guest on the hot seat like Farron here, all, she ha all you have to do is log on our website, infogovhotseat.com, and uh, fill out the form. We'll get you on the schedule. And uh, thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of our day. Thanks, Jim.